four, three. We've got a lot of agents out there. We're getting into some good stuff right away. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of agents out there that literally have zero clue what we do on our side of the tracks in regards to how a loan works from start to finish, that it's a process, all that good stuff. Of course. Um, it would mainly be who you're partnering with, right? Yeah. As the new realtor coming into the industry with no experience whatsoever, you have builders and title companies mm -hmm. and lenders reaching out. Let's go to lunch. Let's go to happy hour. Your time is money. Yeah. Right? It's one or the other. And you want to make sure you're using that valuably. So um, connecting with those lenders, our business is all relationship, That's right? True. And so as long as you're building those relationships with the lenders that are going to pour into you that goes vice versa yeah and sitting down and getting a full understanding of what that process looks like and somebody that they can lean on and call um because buyers right they choose their own lender at times yeah at times they come to us already with a lender at hand and we may have never worked with that person before um so getting to know their process every bank works different every um company does things a little bit different so having that open communication um and pairing up with a lender that you trust and you know that's going to guide you in the right direction um and do your research yeah and google is everything just Oof. sit down and do your research man it, it's like, so true you know and some of that information out there is false right so make sure it's a good resource right, right. you're not reading the incorrect information and um don't take <laughs> don't take input from somebody who hasn't bought a house in 30 years oh my goodness that is a great you know, tip yes like if they haven't bought a house in 30 years they don't know what's going on today and and i think i'm gonna uh, showcase that or frame it because there's a lot of folks out there that are giving people advice real life advice but yet have not actually gone through it themselves mm -hmm. um let's talk about that for a minute yeah is that in your opinion, because I'm not saying that if you're a renter out there or if you've never bought a home, you shouldn't be a realtor. That's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, but you do have realtors and lenders alike that will give advice in the sense that they are a homeowner, but they're not. Mm -hmm. And it may be the right advice. It may not be the right advice, but it's still given from the perception that they are a home. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I think that they do the best they can with what they have at sure. that moment, but it goes back to we as realtors or lenders, why aren't you investing in the product that you're selling? I have to agree with that hundred percent. You know, and so you're out here talking to people and educating people about buying and what's the benefit of it, but you yourself haven't done that. Right. And I think it's important to lead by example. And it goes by those relationships that you have and getting to know the people that you work with, who you work with matters in our industry. Yeah. And if you're working with the wrong people, man, you can go down with that ship real fast. I agree. And I think this is like the only time that you can actually get high on your own supply. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's totally acceptable. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why? Because real estate for me, honestly, has led me to where I am now and not just the mortgage side of things, but I'm talking investment side um and showing people how to build their wealth um, you can make all the money in the world but if you're not putting it in the right places to get at least a return or hold you're just spinning your wheels in my opinion right so as a realtor why are you not investing in the product that you're selling absolutely why are you not doing that you know we just sold um our investment property in houston mm -hmm. this summer and was like hey now is the time rain, I'm yeah sure. it yeah. was great you know <laughs> and it's like okay you know and my husband totally hey whatever you want to do babe yeah. i support whatever the decision expert. yeah and so we did and he's like okay really i'm like yeah and it's gonna appraise and we're gonna be fine and guess what now we're looking for land around here to make that next investment to That's do awesome. the next thing you know we got two kids coming up and how are we able to build wealth for them right you know um i know it's gonna sound a little cliche but they're not making any more land no they're not that's not cliche so, that's a fact yeah, guys you know so <laughs> it's like okay well what are we gonna do with the opportunities that we've had handed to us and we're gonna make the best of it that's so true it is so true and i think that's i think powerful for people to understand that basic concept that you said was cliche but and in my opinion it's not mentioned enough mm -hmm. uh, you can't build more land 